Hey everyone and welcome back to the special time of the year in Pilly Pines. It is the Triassi Picnic. And in case you don't know, the Triassi Picnic is the best way to find ultra rare dinosaurs. And I will be using a special little trick to try and scan what is available for me. Now I've gone over the trick in detail in the past, so I won't repeat the entire process, but I will just say that basically everything in this game is predetermined. When you start up your save file, it's kind of like a seed in a way. I don't know if it's literally a seed, but all of the RNG is predetermined. So in other words, as I do the Tricy Picnic, I can check my options for every single type of uh, pop-in flavor and it won't change what's available it just helps me make the correct call on which one i want to commit to so we're going to do this one a little bit quicker than last time like i said i've done it you know all in much greater detail but we'll still go over all of our options and i've been really excited for another tricy picnic so first things first let us begin with a crunchy yep yeah, a crunchy one go ahead and chuck all that in and get that level three goodness there we go and thankfully this is hosted right next to Mari so I can just spend the night at hers for the next uh, several days within like different um, alternate timelines and see what we get. So then, day one of a fully crunchy Triacy picnic will yield me with Overaptors, okay, and not a single rare. Hmm. That is concerning. Okay, okay, it's fine. You never know, the other ones might be better. Let's try day two. So day two is Ankylosaurus's, and I think there's an Atlas one. That's a new Atlas Anki. That is a Cherry Anki, so I believe these are both rare. Okay, yeah, just looked at that, but the Cherry one's uncommon, but the Atlas one is rare. But not something I'm after. However, good to know that I can at least get a better level on day two compared to day one. Since last time I did this, I had an ultra rare on every single day one. And day three, which is also the first day of Jurassic, so we got our Aranosaurs. Today is, again, over Raptors. All right, and I can see two of them. There's the third one. So yeah, just a little common bunch of over Raptors and a, a carrot Cenobisus. So now I quit. I go to the main loading screen. I go to back and I go to my last manual save and we do it all over again. Okay, so round two, <laughs> Atlantis is stuck in the umbrellas and the food bar predicted itself is going to be crunchy. Uh, no, juicy, sorry, it's gonna be juicy. So we'll chuck all those in, all that in, and all that in, oh, a little bit more. And that will allow us for three full days of RNG goodness. So day one is the Postosuchus and <laughs> no ultra rares. I'm starting to get a little bit worried that maybe the first wave was always set to be a certain quality. Oh no, am I just gonna, gonna get really unlucky this year? Day two, Arcanos. Oh no, they're all so cute, but are also not particularly on my wish list. At least not of this quality. And day three for Juicy is the Postasukas again. Uh, yep, and there's a green one over there. Oh no, this isn't looking very good. Day one of spicy yields us as Matasukas. Well, I definitely don't want that, and there's no rares either. Day two is oh oh okay aloes. I thought that was melanistic aloe for a second then. Did get a rare aloe, so it definitely seems like that is very consistent. Where I'm getting uncommons on day one, rares on day two, and then I've not really paid attention to day three. So I think it's safe to say then that when you do your own picnics, your first flavor really sets the tone and you can expect the quality and rarity of dinosaurs for every single flavor. So I am still checking every day anyway, because even though I want ultra rares, you never know, I might see a rare I really, really like. Uh, but this one is again, <laughs> more Dismatosuchus. Yep, yeah, no, but I, I just got my ultra rare. I don't need another Dismato. Day one for Earthy is Megalosaurs and it's really cute seeing all the different colors there. Or the two mints and the one rust. I think those are actually rares. They might be uncommon. I think it might be uncommon. Okay, so I think it's still like within the same pattern I mentioned earlier. Day two are Ceratosaurs. Yep, and again, definitely a rare. That ocean one is definitely a rare. 
And for day three, Earthy, we have a lot of Oranosaurs. So get to know, I was starting to suspect that um, it was just going to be the same repeat species again and again, you know, like between day one and day three. So I'm going to see something different. But nonetheless, again, just got my ultra rare Oranosaurus very recently. So that is another dud. And now for the one that I was originally very excited for, and now I'm kind of dreading. And that is Fragrant. Let's go ahead and chuck in a bunch of everything, and there we go. So Fragrant obviously being the most likely one for the T-Rex. If I was getting Ultra Res every round, then this would be really amazing. If I now get a Rex, and it's you know, like a guaranteed Rex spawn, and it's not a guaranteed Ultra Rare, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Day one fragrant, don't be a Rex, don't be a Rex, don't be a Rex. It is, it's not a Rex, it's, it's a Pinacosaurus. Little tray run down there, little uh, carroty tangerine. Well, I can never remember between carrot and tangerine. Oh, two of them. Okay, fine, okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> it wasn't a Rex. Day two fragrant yields us, oh, Baryonyx. That's a interesting coloration. I think that might be an Atlas one, or actually it kind of looks like an ocean. I didn't even know what. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, that is a rare forest too. I've actually never seen this one before. Very interesting coloration. So I have to admit, so far, this is the most exciting one, but I already have a Melanistic. I, I might take that one just for storage actually. Yeah, because you are unique, and there's only one forest version of a Baryonyx. Like, Baryonyxes have got two palettes, as you can see here. We've got two different types of carrots, one with the eye marking, and the other one with a bit of uh, spots on its back. So, this one only has the eye marking of stripes, it doesn't have a spotted variant. So, that is unique. And I actually like it, I like the look of it. So, okay, that's actually quite a relief, because so far, of all of the dinosaurs we've seen, the only one I've personally liked was the Peach Carno, and I already have a Peach Carno, so there was no point in me getting a second one. So, cool. I I want to see what day three is. So I still want to see what day three is, just because, why not? Day three is, yeah, the Pinacosaurus again, got two cherry ones and the orangey one as well. So that is the Tricy Picnic settled, and it looks like I'm going for Fragrance, which is a shame because that's probably the most expensive one. I neglected to actually prepare my crops for this, so I've got, uh, you know, scrounging out my saffron and spice root. So let's see, can I make this any more effective? I've got plenty of blackberries. And I also have my bushes as well, so they're very replenishable. Plus, I can buy blackberries from the vendors anyway. But it's more so the fact that if I use just berries, then it might appear as juicy. Actually, it might not. If I just use berries, it might actually... Actually, I might be mistaken. So, because the fragrance icon is first, it might prioritize fragrance. Since all of the berries are fragrant and juicy. And these could all be bought from vendors, so I can restock en masse very, very easily. So because the fragrant first, I think it might be fragrant prioritized, and if that's the case, then this is a very cheap fragrant Tracy picnic. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to bring all of my tickets. I've got 191 festival tickets. So I was wrong, you can't just shove a bunch of berries in, but what you can do is offer the food pile just one singular item with fragrance, but that is not juicy, so one stack of saffron. And then I can chuck the rest in and it will still count as fragrance. And this is handy because saffron is very easy to farm. It's available for, uh, I think, two entire seasons. It's very common. So that works out. I now have my fragrance food pile. And before I leave, hold on a second, Erwin. Um, hi, Erwin. No, I guess you didn't notice I put the food in the pile. Pippin says, so many flavours. Oh, I got five tickets. Uh, so many flavours, so many customers, all thanks to you. Here, take these. Oh, fantastic. Right, of course. Because they now have, you know, they've expanded their store, so they brought poppins along. That's really cute. Um, Marlo, be getting some solid compliments about my sculpture. At least I think they're compliments. But that's for another day. I've worked hard enough at today's a break. Here, you want a few of these? Can't thank you enough for the support and advice this year. Go on, take them. I got everything I need. That was two tickets. I, I need a I need a bath. Okay, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> Hold on, Agami. I I can't reach Agami. Oh, there we go. 
You know, this party used to be 100% granny run, but this year I let Owen and Corlin do most, most of the heavy lifting. If I've learned one thing these past few years, an old gal like me needs her beauty sleep. I got a few of these to spare. Go on, you've earned it. A few of these? You just gave me one. Hold on, if I try again. Somebody put a spotty app on the pile. That ain't right. That is not right. Okay, and where's Mari? There's Mari. I think sharing festival days with everyone might be my favorite, you know. The dancers have their herd, and we have ours, and we can all pig out together. Hey, you need any more festival tickets? I found one in an old drawer at home. And she gave me a ticket as well. Call in. Chat. If you came to get a picnic blanket, I'm your guy. Good to know. And then, of course, Owen. Thanks for your contribution. It's only right to be care for our wild friends. Take these as a thank you. Call in. We'll exchange them for special goods. And Owen gave me five. And another ten. <laughs> Hold on. And another fifteen. The dancers seem quite pleased at the offering this year. When they're pleased, I'm pleased. I think I've really gotten better relaxing. That it helps out Bongo is behaving himself. Oh, that's good. So that's really cool then. I do actually really like that during the events. You can actually talk to every character and they will reflect from, you know, the quest that you've done. And I now have... Oh my. That's, uh, what? 130? Yeah, 130 tickets. 230 tickets. So I'm pretty sure I already have one of these. I think it's a purple blanket, but I've got enough tickets and I can buy plenty more from Norlak or Narlok. I can never remember his name. So I'm just going to go ahead and order one of everything. And there is the last one. That is an entire picnic set and that leaves me with another 50 tickets still. That's really, really good. Fantastic. Excellent. Good morning, Peliopines! That should be my entire order of the Triassi picnic items now arrived. I've also just quickly grabbed a couple of other items, and I don't really have much of a plan for this. I've been having this area here for a while now, thinking to be where the picnic would go, but also just like a nice little homely area in general, so let's just slap down a couple of items then. So first things first are these bookshelves. I'm a little bit limited how I can place these because I can't place them too close to any walls unfortunately so i'm thinking i will line these up all around here there we go it's looking very cute i've got a sofa which mm, i don't really want to put in that corner but i could put like a plant there or something so oh actually i think a sofa yep right there would look really cute or maybe even just a little bit further up i will probably fill out a lot of spacing here with um plants and such but I can only carry so much, you see. I can have a cute little one of these. Oh, hold on. I can't put it there, but I can put it here. Nice and close to the sofa. A table could go... Well, actually, before we do more of that, let's actually put down more of the picnic stuff. So, that's quite small, that's quite small. Everything really is quite tiny, actually. So, I reckon we'll just stick them all together then. Maybe... Do I want them all together or do I want them spread apart? I kind of think I want them together. Maybe like here? So I say I've got that done. Oh no, it's just enough for a little... Oh no, it's perfect for like a little pattern. There you go. And can I actually do anything with it? No. Okay, but it's still really cute though. Oh, so maybe I do want to have it spread apart. I think... <laughs> I know. Indecisive. A little purple one to the side, and... all oh, right, of course, I've got two purple ones. I'll actually put a purple one there. Have them next to each other. Actually, no, they are two different ones. So if I might, we'll just have it like that then. Perfect. And just a spare one over here. So I could... <laughs> I got a Skylinosaur, which is absolutely chilling. Here would make more sense. Give the picnic area a bit more space, or the uh, bookshelf area. You can't... So you can't put items on the table. That's really strange. That's a very odd choice, but I can at least put down a couple of chairs near the table. Okay, that's really strange you can't just put these down, so I suppose I can put them like on the floor next to it. Even the little, little tiny items? They, hmm. Okay, in that case, let's chuck one of these... Oh, I guess just there then, really. That's so odd. I feel like I've seen people put items on tables. 
Okay, so here's what I'm thinking then. I'm going to pick up this item here and I'm going to move it perhaps short in that corner over there. I'm going to put down a little campfire and then I can surround that campfire with a couple of more little items and mainly a bunch of these little seats right here. So we'll have like one there, another one, perhaps like over at that corner there. Again, it's a shame I can't stack them. Uh, I can put down some little toast. Actually, so we'll put that there instead. So I can make it sit next to that little seat like that. And then have the last item, I don't know, like... There? And there's the achievement. <laughs> Living the cottage life, a place of full tricy picnic set on the ranch. It's so annoying that you can't make them sit close together. I know I'm whining a lot about it, but like it's it's such a cute little thing. I wish you could make them sit next to each other. It's fine, it's fine. I guess this will do then. Put down like another little seat there. There you go, next to that one. And I guess I can just put down seats everywhere, come to think of it. So we can put like another one down over there to sit by the shade of the tree. Uh, get like a nice bright yellow one right next to it. And stick down a big old garden right there and another one like so that could work yeah that works that works quite nicely followed by i can stick like a little small one right here <laughs> behind a little picnic i could get a one of the big plants a little big potter plant right there and if i can squeeze on over here not quite so there is this big gap in between which i guess is just what it is i don't really want to put it i guess what i could do actually i could put like a little couple small things like one there one there that's not too bad there you go I'd, I'd love to do so much more with it but that's not too bad that's cute i like that and it shows off that i got the full picnic set which really is <laughs> the priority if i'm gonna be entirely honest Okay, okay, guys. So, those of you who are very observant may have noticed that this episode and the previous episode were kind of linked together in a funny way because everything just kind of synced at the same time. The Tricy Picnic, Freya and Arana's home. I found the Albinus Galasaurus, which is technically day three of the Tricy Picnic. So, you know, like three days after the final day. And that's the same day that I finished the previous episodes with Arani and Freya and everything else. So, we found the Albinus Glado on the final day. I turn around. And I spot that. That is one of my big wish list dinosaurs. It is a melanistic Uteraptor. Another dino I've been really wanting was a Uteraptor. <laughs> so I, I didn't get my melanistic Rex in the end, but I got a Therocino and a Uteraptor. I've been wanting, like this has been like one of the top, top ones I've been really, really wanting. Oh my God. What a day! So while I may have not gotten anything, not and gotten, while I'm, I may have not gotten any ultra rares on a, the picnic itself, I've gotten two in the same day, two different episodes. Yeah, you know, time travel shenanigans. I got an albino and a melanistic on this same day. It's a raptor! Yes. Well, I'm gonna carry on searching. Um, yeah, nothing around. Well, actually, you know, is that any like peaches? No, it's not. I'm going to carry on looking at everything. Oh, I'm so happy. I've been wanting one so badly. So I just finished searching the rest of the game and nothing anywhere to note. But just look at how it stands out in the sand. Oh, my God. It's funny. I've been wanting Uteraptor for so long, but I just got so carried away by the whole Ooh, I want my rares, my ultra rares. And I just never saw a Uteraptor I was really particularly keen on since their colours, I, I love blue, I absolutely love the blue colourations, but because they were commons, I was never totally sold on them. So I never really saw one I particularly wanted until this one! <laughs> so I wanted to have gotten one a lot sooner. I think in a future playthrough I will actually get a Uteraptor much, much faster. Because I feel like I've lost out a little bit. It's fine, it's fine. Mm, but it was worth the wait! It was worth the wait! I really am happy, as you can probably tell. Oh, look at you! You're gonna be a pain, aren't you? Can I get you? Can I get you? This is gonna be a pain. <laughs> I cannot really feel it. 
So like I said, my three big wishlist dinosaurs was Therizuno, Rex, Neutraptor, all Melanistic, because I do just think the black ones look the coolest by far. So that was my three wishlist dinosaurs, and I got the second one. Um, I'm probably never going to get the Rex, let's be entirely honest. Um, if I do get an Ultra Rare Rex, it'll probably be like a different coloration. So, in a future playthrough. But, ah, you! Look at you! I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I'm going to have to think long and hard about this one. I want a special name for this. I'm so chuffed. Right, <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up here then. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. May not have been a good tricep picnic, but it was still a good day nonetheless. <laughs> I got my albino Skeletosaurus. My Forest Baryonyx, I did tame it, and I've called it Maple, although I'm probably going to be giving it away anyway. Releasing it back into the wild. And I get my brand new Melanistic Uteraptor. Good. Yes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.